Bruh, these tans are legit the best hands ever for any operator. I mean, just look at these things. It's crazy. And we also have traces on the SOE subverter here. As well as the Rap H. And even the Lockman 762. Make sure you guys drop a like and stay tuned and subscribe for tracers on more guns. And of course, we can't forget about that death effect. We just destroy them with water fire. So, well, what's up, guys? It's Yuri here by Nino Rukwaji, and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Model Warfare 3 Multiplayer, Warzone, and Zombies. In today's video, we're going to be covering the new tracer pack of Fido Fighter. And I've been waiting for this bundle for a while. As you can see, you get a really cool aquatic sort of operator skin that has, like, incredible hands. And if you like seeing your operator's hands, this has one of the coolest hands ever. And it comes with BP-50 tracers. And I believe Tracer's for Attack Eradicator, Attack Revolver, one of them. So for 2,800 card points, a little bit pricey, but we'll see what's up with it. So if you guys are excited to see this bundle in full, see the Tracer's look cool, see how the camels look like on the guns, and anything secret about this bundle you gotta know, make sure to drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. If you're new to the channel, I upload store bundle videos like this that interest me, like Tracer Packs, Reactors, Mastercrafts, Pro Packs, whatever the case is. And I also upload high kill Warzone gameplay so you guys can learn from and be entertained and just, you know, have an overall good vibe here on the channel. So make sure you guys uh, stick around if you choose to do so. Without further ado, let's check out this bundle in full. So first off, we got the Luciferin skin for Enigma. And this thing looks crazy. I absolutely love the look of this one. You can see you have a whole aquatic body. You can see your, your whole like body and liquid, I guess you could say, your whole exoskeleton. And I just think it looks really nice. It's definitely one of the best operator skins we've gotten in this game. It might be worth just buying this for it alone because the hands do pop up pretty well. Next up, we got the BP-50 Paralyzer, which comes with some water tracers. And as you can see from the tracers, you legit turn your enemies into watery skeletons and burn them in some kind of blue flames. I don't know, this just looks so dope. And if you're wondering about the attachment, this is what it looks like. Do keep in mind, I'm pretty sure the conversion kit will not make you have this look, and you will also lose the tracers using the conversion kit, so you can only use this with the regular BP-50. If you're a fan of the regular BP-50, this looks really clean, but I just wish you could use this skin with the conversion kit. Next up, we also have the Tack Eradicator Splash Damage with the same sort of tracers. But these tracers are so freaking fire. Like, it's no wonder they freaking up the price on this one. And here's the ammunition. This actually comes with an ammunition or attachment of the ammunition. And you, this means you can put it on other LMGs, maybe other ARs, maybe battle rifles. So could be pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, it has a pretty dope look as well. Just wish uh, the BP-50 could be used with the conversion kit. The decal is electric light organism, which looks pretty fire. The weapon sticker here we got is glow stick. Now you see me weapon charm. That's a pretty cute one. One hour double battle pass XP token and a, a flawless Ethereum crystal for zombies. I personally think this bundle is a little bit overpriced. I'm really just going to buy this for the operator skin. Like with the BP-50, like I said before, you need to like, if you want to run it with the conversion kit, it won't have the tracers or the look of the gun. At least the Eradicator, but the Eradicator has some really great uh, uh, freaking blueprints. But we're going to go ahead and cop it, see what you guys think about it. Right now, if you have a lot of other BP-50 tracers or use a conversion kit or you have other Eradicators, it might not be worth it. But for the Operator skin alone, you, you might want to fork over the money. It just sucks that they're, it's just so pricey, bro. Like, you know, keep it at 2400 man. Anyways, let's check out this bundle in full. So here we have the new skin for Enigma, and he legit looks incredible. You're legit freaking Aquaman out here. But let's go over to the guns. We got the Paralyzer BP-50 and, of course, the Attack Eradicator Splash Damage, which both, both have the tracers. But, like I said, you can put on the Attack Eradicator tracers onto other guns. And this includes the SY Subverter, the Rap H, even the Lockman 7.62, as you guys can see from the top uh, left there. And if you guys are wondering what guns can be applied and how to apply them, all you gotta do is to a gun that's applicable, go to the ammunition here. And if the gun has 7.62 by 51 millimeter high grain rounds, and you've bought the bundle, you'd be able to press square, and then go over to splash damage and equip it. So you do this for any gun that's possible. So just look through all your guns. I'm not gonna show you guys that full list because that would take forever. But like I said, uh, this includes the SOE Subverter, the Rap H, the Lockman 762, and probably a couple of other guns. So it's cool that you can have multiple tracers. But now let's look at these guns in particular. So here, here we have the Paralyzer BP-50 with the attachments. And keep in mind, you can change any of the attachments and keep the tracers. 
but you cannot change the ammunition. If you add an ammunition, you will lose the tracers. And I also tested it out, if you add the conversion kit, you will also lose the tracers as well. So you can't use this with that overpowered uh, BP-50 conversion, which is a very, very much so lost opportunity. It is what it is. And then when it comes to the camos, here's how the gun looks like with Gilded, here's how it looks like with Forged, here's how it looks like with Priceless, and here's how it looks like with Interstellar. It looks really nice with Priceless. Here's how the gun looks like with Golden Enigma, here's how the gun's gonna look like with Zircon Scale, here's how it's gonna look like with Serpentinite, and here's how it looks like with Borealis. Also looks really nice with Borealis here. Here's how a uh, one trick camo also looks. So the gun doesn't look too crazy with some of these camos, but it also does look pretty clean with some camos. Just kind of depends. And now moving over to the Splash Damage Tack Eradicator. Here are the base blueprint attachments. If you want to keep the tracers, you can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition. If you remove the ammunition, you will no longer have the tracers. So you need to have this ammunition attachment on. So when it comes to the camos here, here is how it looks like with Gilded. You know, looking pretty interesting. Is any okay, there you go. We got Forged. I couldn't tell the difference. Priceless and Interstellar. That's very little difference, if anything at all. Here's how the gun looks like with Golden Enigma, Zircon Scale, Serpentinite, and Borealis. So at least Serpentinite kind of gives it a pretty cool background, but it's really hard to see the difference on this gun when it comes to other camos. And here is One Trick. One Trick actually makes this look like a, like an animated obsidian. This looks really dope. I wish I had One Trick right now to show you guys in game. This looks dope. Okay, this gun generally is pretty trash of a lot of the camos. The only camos that really stood out was Borealis, One Trick, or uh, Serpentine, I should say, and uh, Wriggler. Actually looked kind of cool with Wriggler, but all the other camos, you will hardly see the difference. But that One Trick looks really cool on this gun. And now I want to show you guys how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the BP-50 Paralyzer. And here's how the gun looks like with its meta class setup for multiplayer. Looks really clean, just sucks that you can't run the conversion kit. It is what it is. So here we have the Attack Eradicator Splash Damage with its base blueprint attachment. And here's how it ends up looking like with a meta class setup. So it keeps a lot of its look, meaning that One Trick is going to look really Really good on this gun. And if you're curious, here's how the weapon charm and the decal look like on the SOA subverter. Looks really dope for a decal. And if you want to be able to put on the operator, the operator will be on the right side, and all you got to do is look for Enigma and then put on Luciferin. And uh, he looks really dope, like I said before. So, yeah, let's get into game. So, here we are with the BP 50 Paralyzer. Look at my freaking hands, bro. These hands are freaking fire. Here's how the sight looks like on this gun, by the way. Uh, and here is the Tack Eradicator splash damage. Just, I can't even believe that the, the hands look good. It's a legit. This is a really fire operator for that reason. Oh, this comes with a hybrid thermal sight. That's that's kind of interesting. Probably will only use the, the regular sights here. And here, here's uh, how they look like, in case you guys are curious. Uh, let me go ahead and take off the sights, too. So if you're wondering how the iron sights look like, here's how the BP-50 iron sights look. And... Here is the Tack Eradicator, so nothing special. Now let's look at the Tracers. These are some really... Some really good Tracers. Oh, that's, 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 that's something. I really wish you could have put this on better weapons or guns that don't have too many Tracers, or at least the conversion kit of the BP-50. Now let's check out the Water Death Effect. A little splash damage there. Turns their hands blue too. Bruh, that is so dope, bruh. It's like water fire or something. That's super freaking cool. Let me see if there's anything special that happens to the head. Nah, it just looks dope as hell though. That that is so freaking gnarly. And if you're wondering, these guns glow in the dark. I mean, they they basically do. Your hands will also glow in the dark really nicely. 
which I really love about the, the uh, this operator skin here. I think the BP-50 glows a little bit more than the attack eradicator, but sheesh. And we also have traces on the SOE subverter here, as well as the Rap H, and even the Lockman 762. And this is how you're gonna look like from the enemy's, enemy's point of view. So at least in the sun, you won't be too apparent, but I'm pretty sure in the darkness, you're gonna be looking a lot more brighter. As you can see in the darkness, you do stand out a little bit more, but nothing that it's too obvious. And now let's see how this operator skin looks like with a finisher. Done and dusted. That looks really dope. And you already know we had to show off the operator here in third person, but let's look how freaking fire you look. Legit one of the cleanest operator skins in the game. It's nothing too like uh, out there, but it's also nothing too boring either. I really love this uh, this operator skin. That being said though, the rest of the bundle, even though the tracers, they, they can be pretty good with these tracers. Like I said, they're only for these two guns and then the uh, the guns you can also apply the attachment to, but I wish it wasn't an ammunition attachment. I just wish these were on guns that would be meta or at least super powerful and then this bundle would be definitely worth it so it's up to you it's very pricey but the operator skin is very good let me know you guys are thoughts in the comment section below make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you need to turn on those post notifications hope you guys have been loving the wars and videos i've been uploading and the store bundle videos that come through every so often i, I really appreciate the love we're less than a thousand away from 20k here on the second channel and i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart anyways stay amazing <laughs>